It was created from the same driftwood that started washing up on this beach about 150 million years ago. As natural a part of the landscape as a piece of public art can get. But an act most unnatural led to a re-extinction of sorts. And it has people coming to the beachlands at Royal Bay to get a look at the mammoth. I already cried when I looked at it because I, I don't understand. It's more of just the like, obviously this is here for people to enjoy. I usually come here with my kids. For families that are used to seeing what was a mom and baby driftwood sculpture, it's sparking conversation. That's the hard part, explaining to the kids how, uh, like why somebody would destroy something so beautiful. What we can tell you is that at just after 7 a.m., Colwood Fire and Rescue and West Shore RCMP responded to the beach lands at Royal Bay. People on their morning walk saw the sculpture on fire. They called it in very quickly, so we were able to get on it pretty quick and get the fire extinguished. This afternoon, they were back checking for hot spots. West Shore RCMP say a 41-year-old suspect who appeared to be having a mental health crisis is in custody. Yeah. I like the gnarly pieces. The mammoth was created in 2017 by artist Alex Whitcomb. I let the wood do the talking. Alex had no idea what had happened until we called him this morning. Yeah, well, how's it looking? <laughs> well, what do you want, the good news or the bad news? Oh, I just saw the news. Whitcomb watched the video and says there's nothing to salvage from this mammoth installation, a total loss. Public art, vandalism, something that, you know, something that uh, people all around get so much enjoyment out of is uh, that's a it hits a new low adding to that low damage to the beachlands driftwood sign as well as the staircase leading down to the beach police are recommending charges of arson and mischief over five thousand dollars they estimate total damages between thirty and forty thousand dollars but its value isn't in dollars to ellie and caden sad like who would who burn wondering? something so nice? Sarah's seen it before, but for mom, Michelle, it doesn't match the picture. I'm shocked, actually, and really, really, really sad. As for a replacement, well, it'll be a while. I'm booked up until next year sometime. But inspiration can be found here.